and welcome back to our blind first playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. I just went and changed up our decor slightly, so... Man, we need to make this throne looking better. That's the Inquisition throne. I don't know. We need to send everybody off on side missions at the war table. Um, I can't remember what all we select. A lot of them were Ferelden. Um, oh, what's examine here? Why would I... What? What? Okay, well, I guess I need to change all of these and go around examining everything. Okay, the women of all war. Regarding cataloging of Skyhold, four statues of chastened influence. Like many features of Skyhold, these four statues are not original to the structure. Scratchings much newer than the sculpture suggest these were placed by Ferelden's as representations of Andraste. Wait, didn't we just put these? It's weird. Are we creating our own history? Or are they just like sitting underneath and we're switching them out? You know, weird. Uh, typical appropriation, these are not Our Lady. They are altered, chastened figures, and likely had animal heads for some such. Or some such. The numbers suggest the barbarian tradition of personifying seasons as female warriors, bearing the typical attributes or renewal and death. Winter is of note for its brutality, as it is tied to their rumored custom of killing those who flee battle. Harsh enough, but more so when you note that killing the fleeing was not left to fellow soldiers, but common citizens waiting to meet them at their camps. Such was their commitment that death at the hands of their people was welcomed over the shame of broken morale. Such is the brutality of their animist gods. Archivist Ambanan. Here follows a revenant page from the historical historic examination. For she of all and war will dade, and issue forth as will a spur, and welcome home she will the bold, returning with them crowns and brand, but knowing runs the empty hand, that all that waits is falling cold, for such the shame to flee occur, its glory saved with mother's blade. From a barbarian blood, chastened myth made sensible. Collections of the University of Orle. Okay, well, anything else that we're supposed to examine? What is this? I've switched out a bunch of stuff before and I never had examine. Well, okay. Uh, Warhounds restorable. Cataloging Skyhold. Warhounds. Good work here. Solid stone from the Frostbacks. Kekel's peak on human maps. High Hall's roof on proper dwarven ones. As for subject, I heard the story once from a Ferelden trader. Hounds of war, one for the battle won, head raised high to chase the enemy's dead into the fade. The second is for the battle lost, head raised, calling to a fallen master, bearing its neck to the blade to join them. An efficient sculptor will tell you they create a design and then apprentices copy it for sale. I asked why she had two meanings for the same pose. She said, would you rather sell one statue or two? Smart lady. Stonework evaluation for Lord Trevelyan's consideration, Mason Gatsy. Anything to say? Stone mad, Inquisitor. Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles oh. are supposed to depict? Tell you what, you finish one and I'll write it up. Who better, right? Right. Okay, we dwarf got it. Yeah. Perspective. Sure. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Okay, one other thing. Um, the last time we were running around, we picked up a quarry. It said that the courtyard was complete. Now, I don't see stone around, and that's brilliant. But I was wondering, do we have anything you else? Did you see what they did? Oh, hold on. Straight across the throat. Like it was nothing. Shit. What goes on in there, Eds? Blight. Blight goes on. Never forget that. Oh. The Grey Warden sacrificing themselves. I get it. And there's Our Lady. You know what? For once, we're gonna we're just gonna watch her. We're gonna wave. Hey, how you doing? What's up, Cassandra? How are you? This, I just wanted to check quick. I don't think we have anything in here, right? Geological surveys. Surveys, nothing. Of course. Just... Another time. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we will be doing more running around here, but there's something else I want to go do right away, and that is hit the war table. We had a bunch of stuff get turned in. Bunch meaning three things, because that's the most we could have going, but it's worth checking out. And then I do not think we're Bless heading you. back to the Western approach this time. I think we're going to go do something different. I know we have to make it back there, and we will make it back there. Um, well, let's push forward a little. Let's look at our table here. All right, crew, what's going on? Wake up, everyone. Let's have a meeting. Okay, so... 
Here's two of the turn-ins, good. Investigate Lord Enzo of Antiva. Sister Leliana. Uh, our agents entered Lord, en Lord Enzo's home where they discovered several pieces of correspondence connecting Enzo to the Venatori. Worse, it seems Enzo did more than buy into their philosophy. He's been arranging to send volunteers to the Red Lyrium mines as they took these people from Rialto's poor. More unfortunate residents few noticed the disappearance. Is. Our agents were prepared to confront Enzo with the evidence, but he failed to return. We have since learned that he hired a ship to Hersinia in the free marches. It seems unlikely that Enzo knew of our presence, but something spooked him. Mason. Leliana has written a note. Have our agents track Lord Enzo to the free marches. His work for the Venatori must not continue. Let us pray the trail does not run cold. So we just opened up a new mission, and we have a masterwork imbued staff grip. I will check out um, crafting at some point, but I feel like for some of these missions, we're a little overpowered, and we're just trying to like clean up. So as soon as I feel like I'm getting way beat up again, which I was on the Western Expanse, I think, um, we will... Uh, Maybe take another assessment, go grab some more schematics and that stuff. Let's see here. Basilit An. According to my reports, the fire ship was stopped before reaching the harbor, and while the ship did explode spectacularly, several of the Venatory mages were captured and made available for interrogation. The Ferelden forces are grateful for the Inquisition's help. They have sent all the information they found on the Venatory, along with a token of respect, from the Ven Ferelden throne. It was a pleasure working with the Inquisition, and I hope to have chance to do so again talus uh, well i mean it's fun that they're including talus on things so oh my god we have to find sc spies and skyhold let's come over here quick i think this was just no this was alliances okay uh alliances getting things moving i will not turn my back on them but we have established agreements with the thebalts their initial hatred of the inquisition was a device and they are willing to have us in their favor josephine we got a sigil of the Gamordan Stormrider and alliances forging a way forward. Another mission. Okay, well... First things first. No matter what, I want to find these spies in Skyhold. Basilit An, I am pleased to have the chance to work with you again. Although I wish I came bearing better news. Iron Bull passed me information he and Liliana had come across about potential venatory agents operating in Ferelden and Orlais. I followed up on the leads, and in the process I've discovered that there may be venatory agents operating in Skyhold. With your permission, I would like to coordinate with Leliana on this. We can turn this problem into an opportunity by passing false information to these agents and seeing where it leads. It may give us the chance to find a major venatory information source. If you are not comfortable with this level of risk, I recommend we have the spies removed and executed. This will less lessen our ability to trace the Venatori spies back to their source, but it will make Skyhold more secure. Well, for a minute, till more come. I pass their identifying information to Leliana. Thank you, Talus. Now, Cullen uh, would just kill them all. Just kill them all. Let's not play around. But Leliana says, Talus has a good plan. Let us use these spies against the Venatori and trace them back to their spy masters. That's the way you roll. Let's see what we have. Perfect. That's like a 10 minute one too. Cool. Well, let's go with the uh, offer from the crows then if we can play with this. Maybe Leliana. A letter delivered to Skyhold is its sender claims to be a member of the Antivan crows, an infamous guild of assassins. We encountered your agents in Hersinia. It seems the Inquisition and the crows share a target. Our employer bears no love for Lord Enzo due to, well, let's say it's a personal matter. Of course, I imagine your motivations have more to do with the man's Tevinter friends. You know... The Venatori, we know Enzo. Why compete for the man? Lend us your knowledge and the job will be done far more quickly. You eliminate an enemy, our employer removes a po polit political rival, and we get paid. A happy ending for all involved. Gita. Josephine, the Crows are an unfortunate reality of Antivan politics. They will pursue the contract regardless. We may as well know where they are. Uh, Liliana is busy, but she's just cooperating with the Antivan Crows works to our advantage. They have more knowledge of Enzo, and we gain contact should we need their assistance in the future. And Cullen says, do we really want to get tangled up with the Crows? Our people can handle this. Um, no, I'm going to go with Leliana on that one. And she is busy, so we're going to wait. But what do we got going on over here? This one. Forging away alliances. This sounds like a good one for... It's going to be Josephine. Lady Thibault is asking for closer ties and access to trading partners as she tries to circumvent the traditional blockages of the allegiances in the capital. Some houses have switched sides, others ceded, holding entirely to 
avoid the shame of officially losing all standing. More and more, they are concerned with station and alliance over whatever objections they stated about the Inquisition. Uh, Cullen would arrange assurances of forces if allies are attacked, a standard escalation of interests. Leliana's busy. She would support her indirectly so that she knows of our support, but the others do not consider us directly tied. Or Josephine says, we gained her trust with alliances. If we are willing to continue the relationship, it is only fitting that we strengthen those ties. I'm going Inquisitor. with the, uh, the politician. And lastly here, let's, let's gather something. Let's do more Emerald Grave resources. You never know what we're going to find. Cullen. To work? Okay, and now we have to decide where are we going and what are we doing. Um, we have stop venatory activity in the west. Is that a whole other region? Is that a side thing? I just don't even understand. Um, we also have, you guys, disaster in the deep roads and investigate the Frostback Basin. Now, I'm not sure if... I think either two of these three or, or three of them are DLC. But we have this. Wicked eyes and wicked hearts. An assassin is stalking the Empress. Selene's death would plunge Orlay into chaos, leaving it an easy target for Corypheus. At the Winter Palace of Halim Sheral, Selene is holding back, holding peace talks with her rebellious cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, under the guise of a grand ball. Every noble in the Empire will attend, making it the perfect place and time for Corypheus's assassins to strike. We can arrange an invitation to attend to keep him from destroying Orlay if we hurry. Yes, and recommended level 12 to 15. We're way over leveled, so I'm going to move on with this mission. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Okay, um, why not just send a warning? And just, why do we have to be involved? Uh, tell me about Gaspard. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well-loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Now, he turned on the Empress, but he was the one who was rightfully inheritor of the throne, so really isn't it the Empress, quote-unquote, like Selene turned on him? And he has, everybody loves him and the soldiers. We can't just make a martyr out of him, so, yep. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as oh, okay. anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Gross. But is that really Gaspard's plan? Let's talk to Gaspard and find out what he wants, because I don't know how this is all going to go. Uh, what about Briala? Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. Yeah, promising lead. Selene had an elven lover? Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. Hmm. <laughs> The scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Oh, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Uh, tell me about Selene herself. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. 
Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? Um, yeah. Gaspard, at this moment, he's Selene's heir, so if he were to have her killed, he would automatically rise up. But there's there's going to be a bunch of, hopefully, like, subtle things going on here. I'm trying How to pay attention. How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Right. Uh, I, it's stupid. We'll ask why not just send a warning, but... Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlay falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. Okay, all I'm gonna say is loophole in the writing, you guys, until we find out. Like, Leliana is like the greatest spy master of all time, yet we can't even we can't even get a message to the Empress Selene. So we have no contact with anything going on in Orlais. I don't believe that. Like that's come on, you guys, come on. Either way, let's go. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. Or figure it out. Take it yourself. Like send somebody you know. What it, like personally, I don't know. Uh, wicked eyes and wicked hearts. An assassin is stalking the Empress. Selene's death would plunge Orlais into chaos, leaving it an easy target for Corypheus. At the Winter Palace of Halim Sheral, Selene is holding peace talks with her rebellious cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, under the guise of a grand ball. Every noble in the Empire will attend, making it the perfect place and time for Corypheus's assassins to strike, and for us to gain a little bit of a prestige with people, maybe. We can arrange an invitation to attend, blah, blah, blah. We read this. I apologize. And let's go. <laughs> but you know how much we love reading here. Now, who comes to the ball with us? Oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to need somebody who can pick a lock. And it's not Cole. I don't know that he's... Nope, it's going to be Varric. Got to have Varric. He's... He... This is a party, right? Okay, now out of these others, who else do we need for the party? Iron Bull would be amazing. But truthfully, it's Dorian and Cassandra. I think so. I mean, Iron Bull would be one, but these are all the people I wouldn't mind having there in conversation. So, I mean, I understand Dorian is a uh, Tevinter, but that's fine. Or to Vinter, I always get the emphasis is mixed up. Oh. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Oh, looking sharp. Inquisitor Trevelyan, it is an honor to meet you at last. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. Uh, what does that support cost? That would be impressive. Uh, which emperor is that? Okay, we're going to have to play this out because I don't want to piss him off right now and he's got the army with him, but do we want him in power over Selene? I don't know that we do. And is he like a crazy nationalist who wants to uh, just keep Orle Orle and, you know, fight everybody off a little bit, feeling like Loghain? Um, let's see here. That would be impressive. Which emperor is that? Uh, what does that support cost? Exactly. What would be required to get that imperial support? I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. Uh, I'm glad to help. Aren't we... aren't we exciting people? I'm not here for a party. Well, that's... I'm glad to help. Aren't we here ex... Aren't we exciting people? I'm Can't imagine know. that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briala, 
I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. It's worth investigating. I hope there's more to go on. Um, I'll deal with the elves. If they're siding with the enemy, I'll put an end to it. <sighs> Be as discreet as possible. I don't know that they are. I detest the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? I feel like they're not explaining this enough. We're here to discover the assassin. the Inquisitor? Image? Hmm. No, there must be some mistake. From the Circle of Ostwick, so they say. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, because I'm a mage. So, with few exceptions, nobles and mages don't mix. The court eyes you with suspicion. So our court approval went down from 40 to 30 immediately. Um, we need to enter the Winter Palace, explore the palace gardens. Let's double check here. Let's go to our codex then and check out who we got here. I'm just like, what is our is our goal? It seems weird. We, we need to keep the court in our favor. Is that for us to help influence things at the end? Like... I thought we want Selene as in power. We want to keep her in power, don't we? Unless we want to put Grand Duke in power. I'm I'm confused at the moment. So, But we're his guest. I thought they, we just had an invitation ar arrived. I didn't realize we're showing up as the guest of the usurper. I don't know. Lady, uh, Matt, so are we on his side? And we have to like be on his side no matter what? Or am I reading this wrong? Lady Mantillon, I can offer no apology for my nephew's behavior the other night. Gaspard has never betrayed any interest in following my advice. In truth, everything he said to you at the dinner party, he has also said to me. His resentment at being deprived of the throne has festered for some time, and he was never one to accept defeat gracefully. I would take Aspard's threats of war seriously. I do not believe my nephew knows how to resolve problems through the use of anything but steel, although he just talked us down to try to be subtle. Uh, if his record on the battlefield is any indication, he is quite adept at doing so. I shall be increasing my personal guard directly. Sincerely, Duke Gratian. I'll go with. And Halam Sharal. Let's read about this place. After the glorious reclamation of the Dales, the elven capital lay empty and in ruins for years. A haven for bandits and highwaymen and all manner of miscreants, the land lay unused until the exalted age, when Alphonse Valmont, the very lion himself, declared that a palace should be built there in honor of the valiant actions of his brothers in besetting the armies of false emperor Xavier, Xavier Dracon, originally called Chateau Lion, it was, or Lyon, it was designed as a grand retreat for the emperor's brothers and their families. The city of Halam Sharal grew around the palace. The first records of his, its existence appear in the Storm Age, when Emperor Cyril granted the title of Marquis to Sir Renegio Reginald Montclair for administration of Halam Sharal. An elven uprising destroyed Chateau Lyon in the Blessed Age. When Emperor Judicale I rebuilt it, he named the new retreat the Winter Palace. Ooh. It was designed more for the emperor and his immediate family than for any cadet branches of House Valmont, and became the heart of the imperial court in the darkest months of winter. So it's like, oh, the, the winter palace when they go in the winter, right? An excerpt from Architectural History of Orlais, Volume 1 by Elodie of Fernao. Now, hmm, we've been hearing a lot about Corypheus and these guys. They're on the hunt for, like, ancient elven stuff, you know, like technologies or things. I have a feeling... So they're looking, this place is built on top of, this is an old elvish place. And say, same as Skyhold. So it's like they're trying to find another way to break through. I don't know. I think there's some stuff here. So, by the way, show image. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Don't, but all these images are the same. That's weird that they would let you do that. Okay, well, let's uh, get to it. All right. Wow, let's take a look at this place. Now, let's take a look at our map. All right. I feel like we're going to mess this up big time. Uh, Montbelliard's ring. Hold on. Why can't I... I can't zoom out. Unlock the eastern storage. Enter the west, west, uh, winter palace. Okay. Might be something here. 
Better take a closer look. But... Okay. Hello. Mika! What am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Um... Keep the ring. I found it. You just gained court approval, which is usually the result of finesse, entertaining people, or keeping up appearances. The higher court approval is, the better. Is this the ring you were looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? Was she washing her hands over there? Where could How'd it be? How'd she lose it? Wait, where could it be? We just found it for you. Stop it. Stop it. Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the Dales? Let's hear some stuff. Wait, no. Not yet. Can Gaspar take the throne without the backing of the Council of Heralds? He plans to take it by force. If the Council won't recognize him, he'll march against them. Okay, so I mean like... I'm, I'm just afraid I'm going to screw this all up no matter what. We'll try to figure out... Learn our politics a little more as we go. Ooh. Something to read. You know how we like that. Oh, and a codex. Good. Winter Palace. The Verschiel Fountain. Emperor Judicale the first commissioned this massive fountain to commemorate House Valmont's historic victor, victory over Xavier Dracone. The four lions represent Emperor Alphonse Valmont and his three younger brothers, Duke Isidore, the Arlesians, Duke Yvonne of Savarin, and Duke Stefan of Valmontaine who took the field against the usurper. Except for excerpt from Architectural History of Orlais, Volume 1 by Elodie Fernot. All right. Is that the Inquisitor? It is. A martyr? The Maker has an odd sense of humor. Why would you say that? Because I'm a mage? A maging? Okay, I feel like there's our entrance. I'm heading over here. I don't know why. Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Unlock the Eastern Storage. Statuettes required. Don't know that that makes any sense to me. Requires more Hala statuettes. So we're looking for things that look like Halas. Well, we're going to go Where everywhere but in gone? here for a minute if we can. Elves always shirking their duties. Oh. Elves shirking their duties. So the elves who are here as servants are probably in with, uh, forget her name, Belial. Oh, we pick up a Hala statuette. Oh, there we go. Superstitions of the royal family. Oh, this place is going to be full of a bunch of lore we haven't gotten, right? That's okay, though. That's good. The Valmont family has its quirks. Every family does. But the Valmonts lean particularly towards the occult. Emperor... Reville the Mad believed in ghosts. He was certain that his mother continued to advise him after her death, and that the angry shade of his twin brother sought his downfall. He employed the services of soothsayers to convey messages from beyond the grave and to stave off his slain brother's wrath. His son, Emperor Judicale I, had a fascination for all things ancient and arcane. It is said that his desire to reconstruct the palace of Halam Sheral after an elven uprising destroyed it, was due more to his interest in the site itself than in politics or the game. They say he chose to spend the winter months at this family retreat because he believed the palace located at a nexus of elven magic. No kidding. That spending the time there would grant him longer life as with the fabled immortal elves. In the end, the palace did not prevent his death due to heart failure. His youngest son, Prince Renaud, had a similar interest in elves and the Dales. He collected carvings of Hala, the Dalish beast of burden, sacred to one of their false gods. The statuettes, all the work of the Dalish artisans during the long walk, were kept in his room in the Winter Palace, where his daughter ascended to the throne. She had them repurposed as keys, but why and for what, no one can know. And she just threw those keys all over the place, on the floor, in weird places. An excerpt from the Architectural History of Orlais, Volume 1, by Elodie Fernau. Okay, well, we can go unlock that one. We should keep looking, though. Are all the Delonces here? Delonces? Maker, I hope not. I remember the Delonces. Lancets, the Lancets. Uh, superior Enchanter Coat 
schematic. Hmm. All right. Well, we're we're searching. It's beautiful. It's nighttime. It's a nice environment. This is. I'm happy to be playing this quest. Even if you'll hear me, if I'm critical on things, it's only because it's like. I d I don't like when the we start the mission, all of a sudden we just have to go, it tells us to go somewhere, but we don't understand why. Why, like, why are we trying to get in the store? What's going on in the statuette? There's no setup. We don't talk to anybody. Nobody explained anything. That's what I'm thrown off on. I want to come look over here, though, first. Does anyone have a report on the casualties in Ooh. the Dales? I'd like to hear more of that, too, though. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyu. Okay, I keep trying to stop for some of these conversations, but they're saying one-liners. Requires the storage key. Okay. Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the Dales? Oh, what you know what? What is Lady I'm... Pentecost wearing? What is Lady Pentecost wearing? Where is she, by the way? We'll, we'll see him when we get in there. Even gilded walls have ears. Foreigners. Find a safe spot to eavesdrop on the noble's conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it won't actually let me decide for myself. I just have to... Right here? Interesting. Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Yeah, can we end? So it's like there's civil war too, like the stuff going on with Gaspard and... Okay, well we found the storage key, so we can go get that storage. We're just the Inquisitor running around trying to rob everybody. Take all their keys, breaking in all their doors. No, never mind us. I'm I'm part of the Inquisition. Don't worry about it. Oh, we found a belt of cold resistance and reinforced vanguard coat. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, give us something. I'll take lore. I'll take anything. Secret research. The great blackmail hunt. Scandalous secrets gathered. Deliver scandalous secrets to Leliana. Hold on, I gotta check out what that's saying there. There we go. Scandalous secrets are everywhere at the Grand Masquerade. Listen in on conversations to gather gossip and scour the palace for incriminating items and notes. The secrets learned could be used to gain power for the Inquisition and the upper hand in the grand game of Orlesian society. Oh my god, so they're saying there are going to be 30 scandalous... So we're just going to be like walking around this place just like scouring, as they said. Interesting. Well, we'll do some scouring. That's okay. That's popping for the door. The Inquisitor was headed out of the fade by Andrasti. Uh, is that the rumor still? Oh, I thought, we, is here. I thought we tried to nip that. I hope not. Oh, that's come on. Gotcha. One of the doors open, so we understand. There's gonna be ten of these. I'm going to quit pretending I'm excited for any of the loot in this game. <laughs> if I find one, cool. You know. Yeah, Spellburst Staff, that's it. But at the same time, it's a 65 at this. It's a level 13. Okay. Wait, but... So all this was just for us to complete. We had to... Well, it teaches us how to get in the doors, how to use the key. So I understand that, but... Really? There was no lore. There's nothing hidden behind... That key door. All right. Have a report on the casualties in the well, let's head on in. Let's do it. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. For weakness more than anything else. I'll be careful. They sound like a, a fun bunch. Um... I'll be careful. They sound like a fun bunch. I'm not afraid of them. 
Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Uh, warn the others as well. That's a charity thought. Let's get this over with. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Cassandra is usually not the subtle or cautious type. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. We should have had these discreet and words before we got here. All. Come on now. Tell us after we're already here. We've discovered the vestibule. Let's uh, take a look at our map here. So straight ahead eventually is the main level vestibule. Let's just uh, look around, I guess. We'll hear conversations, talk to people. Let's play the Game of Thrones. Oh, what do we have here? A door I can't enter. Are we going to start with an introduction, you know? I believe we are. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. Grand Duchess Florian must have worked a miracle to get them here. Okay. Hey, what's up, Beric? So this is just the Winter Palace. What's the summer one look like, I wonder? So we choose who to bring, but they're all here anyway. We have Varric, we have Cassandra, we have Cullen, huh? I need to have this jacket let out a little. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. That's a lot of support. This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. I think I think it is kind of weird with the red too. To is that our color? Let out a little. So this is just the Winter Palace. What's the summer one look like, I wonder? Gaspar never struck me as pious. He must think he gains a military advantage with the Inquisition. How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without war going on? I heard that it wasn't renovations at all. The palace was damaged by Gaspar's catapults. He fired on the Winter Palace? That's monstrous. I feel like we need to catch all the little pieces of politics. Intrigue. Is there any progress? Hmm. Hmm. Come on now, really? Did I miss the conversation? Who does Orzammar favor in Here the negotiations go. tonight? King Edukum has put considerable coin behind the Empress in hopes the trade in foodstuffs will resume quickly. Okay. Oh. Good to know. What? So, out of all the lore, they can't just give us something that's interesting to I say that. The Grand Duke invited the Inquisition. Here. Come on now. Interesting. What's interesting? Just gossip. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. How okay. can they call this a vestibule? It's a foyer. Please. Barely half the size of the foyer in the Imperial Palace. It's obviously just a vestibule. I'd call it more of an antechamber myself. No one asked you. Important discussion. That's funny. All right, I want to come up and around this stuff first before we I go. I wish there. there was more news coming from the Grand Cathedral. Good news is becoming an increasingly rare commodity. Well, not until we start delivering the news. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. Uh, read the plague. I mean the plaque. I knew that. Uh, Winter Palace, the Grand Library of Halam Sharal. The Winter Palace's collection of book 
is one of the world's largest. Only the Library of the University of Orlé and the Imperial Palace Library compare. Famed cabinet maker Gustav of Valfontaine designed and built the shelves. The finest examples of his marquetry technique still in existence. Excerpt from Architectural History of Orlé, Volume 1 by Elodie Fernot. Can we go in there then? Ooh. Wait, what's that? Just make sure, okay. Oh! What would... Uh, I don't... Locked from the other side, okay. Locked from the other side. Something above us or below us, let's see, hold on. What the hell is this? Enter the ballroom. Enter the ballroom. Oh, they're just saying from either way. Now we're in the vestibule. Got it. How long I understand. Hold out with trade disrupted? We have reserves of food supplies to last a few months, but the king wants trade resumed before panic starts. Okay, so, and they were trying to side more with Celine. Hey, what's up, dude? Requires a royal wing key. So far, they haven't. They've usually not kept that stuff from us, but. I think maybe we have to just go in. What is Gaspar up to? It wouldn't surprise me if he brought the Inquisitor here as a prank. Are we ready, guys? I think so. If nothing else, oh. the Inquisition backing Gaspar would make Celine nervous. You know how pious she is. Once again, though, I do want to look here. Let's just check our journal here. It would be unwise to ignore the host of a party of this scope, especially when the host is the Empress of Orlais. Make best to make the Inquisition's presence known. What what does that mean, though? We're trying to prevent her from being assassinated, but now it's not really about that. It's about how things are going to play out here. So let's talk to Gaspard. Are we being presented? Yeah. I don't know how this is all going to play out. I really don't. It's another lands meet. Oop. <laughs> and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Oh, what's up, lady? Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? <gasps> Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pentagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed. Hero of Orlais, right hand of the divine. Renowned author, Beric Thethris. Head of noble house Thethris, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Lord Dorian Pavis. Member of the Circle of Arantium, son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavis of Azariel, Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, mm. Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Nice, that's fun introductions. I'm being quiet for that for a minute. Oh, we can't go anywhere. We gotta go forward. Got it. They were, I should have probably walked up first and then they were introducing, sure. But we're gonna walk afterwards. It's all good. Come on, guys. 
Run. Run. <laughs> oh, let's head on up. I guess to get Gaspard. Cousin. My dear sister. Grand Duke. We are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. <laughs> Inquisitor? Inquisitor. Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. She the assassin. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Or a warm wind in a winter palace? Wait, no, I don't know. It's an honor. The weather may turn foul. An assassin is here. It's an honor. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? Uh, I can't do it credit. Call off the ball. It's lovely. I can't do it credit. Um, I'm going to say I can't do it credit. I don't know. I have no words to suffice. Alam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Oh, no. <laughs> All everything matters here, right? Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. These outfits make everybody look kind of frumpy. Empress Celine Valmont. Uh, how are my mind, Papa? Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? Happy in the studio. Mother is the same as always. Meaning she's after you to do more work. You always take her side. I don't take her side. I happen to think, as she does, you might attend to more of the estate's duties. Also, do stop slouching. Okay, yeah, we're going to get into that. I just didn't want to like mess up or lose their conversation. Uh, let's check out the character we just got here for Celine. There we are. Uh, my dear Viscount, I congratulate you on securing an invitation to appear at court. Allow me to present you with these three words of advice as a gift. Don't underestimate Celine. You must not mistake her reputation as a diplomat and peacemaker to mean she avoids conflict. Dozens of her enemies litter the bottom of the harbor in Val Royo. Negotiation did not send them there. She is as shrewd and ambitious as her grandfather Judicael I, but unlike him, she knows how to handle the nobility. She built the University of Orlé, the most vehemently opposed project in Orlesian history, because she knew how to win the support she needed to overcome even her bitterest rivals. She can keep a pet apostate in front of the Chantry because even the Divine fears her influence. Do enjoy your visit to the palace. Sincerely, Duke Germain. So let's Can go. Can you believe the Inquisition filled its ranks with upper states? You just know that will end badly. Oh yes. Oh, we just know. Prince Ezio Valisti oh. of the House of Valisti in Antiva, and third talon of the Antivan Crows. What were they doing in the Western Approach? What the hell it's was that happening? He's here, huh, Ezio? And we're all oh, we're working on. So should we have Lady Fifi and Lady Babette de Lonce? Daughters of the Comte de Lancet. Yeah, but where are they? Oh, they're just announcing them every is that time. Him? That is, is it me. True? The Inquisitor was headed out of the fade by Andrasti. We didn't come in this way, no. It's beautiful. I I really like the setting here. It's really fun. Galida Tsuris Yavash, eldest daughter of the Ghana of Dasmude, and Rivani, ambassador to the Imperial Court. I was going to tell you this too right now. The sound is going to be different on this episode than some of the other ones. Um, I think we're going to have to have it up almost all the time instead of, because of all the conversations. Have you heard from your nephew? Smile, Commander. Not since his he regiment so joined the fighting. He is just as handsome when he doesn't. Let's come over here and talk to Cullen. I had hoped to talk Inquisitor, the wing guard did you need today. something? I the sooner we track down this infiltrator, in the better. It's such a pity the wing is sealed. Okay, uh, any advice? Do you have any advice? 
All Asian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who would you support? Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. Um, not enjoying the party? I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I'll let you know at once if I do. We'll talk later. I await your signal. I await your signal. Oh, the Dowager. Council. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. You must dance with I heard me, Celine was having the entire you stand about all evening. Decorated. I'm afraid the timing is a thank you. Why would you Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Phew, phew, phew. The, the, it's the cross talk that kind of gets me on there, you know? It's like. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyou. Thank you. Josephine. Are you happy to see? I don't like that girl. Josephine. No, but oh, Josephine. Is this him? Sister. Inquisitor. If I have to clean up please allow puddle. me to present to you my younger sister. Yvette Gabriella Montelier. Yvette. Uh, another Lady Montelier, a pleasure. There can never be too many Lady Montelier's in Thetis, can there? <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antiva says so. Is it true? Um, I'm afraid not. Not at all. Sure, when I'm afraid not. Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, milady. Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been then. Um, oh, the, here we go. Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. Uh, and I must wait for your tutor's bits. Yep. Come on. Just do it. Just create, create, create. Um... Who would you support here? How's the e how's the evening? Enjoying the ball? I see many of. The dancing is so dull, your worship, but the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Please continue, Josephine. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Okay, uh, any tales of Josephine? This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. <sighs> She still plays with a doll collection when no one's looking. There we go. Yvette! That's <laughs> absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> it's kind of, that would fit though for her being uh, politic and, uh, you know, in her, in her relationships and people. Who would you support here? Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Celine has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. What, we, what I think we need to do is try to get Gaspard and Celine to end the fight and Gaspard to fall back in line with Celine. When she's gone or if she doesn't have an heir, like he'll take over or not, I don't know. But um, yeah, he probably wouldn't be a good leader and he wants to be nationalist and militaristic. And I, I just feel like he'll put the boot on everyone's neck. That's what I think. I'll see you later. Another time. But I don't know how this is going to play, and we have to play with more. Are all the Delonces here? Speak Maker, with Leliana. I hope not. And where? Oh, we're on the Leliana here. I, have an idea. I heard the Inquisition was here. You'd be bored the second you stepped past the gates. 
I hold is a fortified castle. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valroyo. Of course I do your best. I'm trying. Find conversations. A compendium of Orlesian theater, the most unusual part of Orlesian theater, appropriately enough, revolves around our southern neighbor's love of masks. Every actor wears a mask, and every mask follows a hierarchy of shape and colors that indicates to the audience the character's importance. Half-face green masks indicate a, a leading male role, for example, while half-face purple masks are for primary female characters. Full white masks are reserved for roles of no clear gender, such as spirits except for demons, whose masks must always be black and red. Further complicating matters for those new to Elysian theater, an actor's race or sex has no bearing on the part on the parts they can play. If a director believes they can sell the part, men can play dowagers, women can play dukes, and even an elf can play a king. Once donned, the mask is understood to be absolutely them. None of the actors I spoke to could explain to me the history behind this tradition, but bristled when I suggested other nations find it strange. There is a strong bond of trust between Orlesian theater troops and their viewers. Indeed, I have rarely attended such attentive audiences than in Val Royo. It is my guess that Orlesians, surrounded as they are by mass in their daily lives, both require and fully respect a place where the objects boldly display their wares' intentions for a change. An appendix at the back of this volume lists the appearance and meaning of Orlais' theatrical masks. These conventions are vital to understanding the history of its finest theater, a journey I hope you will find as rewarding as I have. From a Compendium of Orlesian Theater, Volume 1, Introduction by Magister Apellinar. I wonder if that information will help us. That's the vestibule. Oh, wait. Isn't that where we came in? Or did I just make it down? But nope, nope, nope. That's it. And here's the Dowager Council. Laurent was the love of my life. Did you just my husband? grab my boat? Oh, darling. I know. Killed in the war with Verrill. You hear that? Cullen suddenly grabbed his butt. That's funny. He... I All right. still remember the day they came to tell me that my second husband, Philippe, was thrown from his home. Okay. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Okay. Well, this has got to be Leliana over here, then. Wait. Why did it make a sound? That's fine. Alright, let's hit it. Another cutscene, or just pulling us into another room? Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Céline is from her side. Empress Céline is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. Uh, there's an apostate at court? How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. Yeah, I should have brought Vivian, but guess what? I don't like Vivian, so I don't really care. And would she help us here or not? Or would she just be after her own interests and not support us if we did something she didn't want? I don't know. Um, magical mind control? I need to. I needed to know this earlier. That's worth investigating. It's fine. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. I don't know that it is. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Dirty mage. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Well, we'll make it to the ballroom eventually. Uh, explore the grand, grand library, all that. What is a ghoulish delight? Oh, tales. All right. My dearest Regine, surely you must have heard of Pajet's failing fortunes. They've lost almost everything. The Lord 
made some bad decisions and trusted people he shouldn't. All that's left is La Maison Verti in the Dales. They have to sell it and move to the city. I was called upon to find someone willing to buy the house. You would be so proud of me, I surpassed all the Lord's expectations. I looked into La Maison's history first. Did you know it was built in the time of the elves? It was a sanctuary dedicated to Andruil, goddess of the forest. The house was built around the ruins. The heart of the shrine was an etched alt stone altar, now in the Grand Hall. It's quite spectacular. Wait, now in the Grand Hall. Hmm. Uh, it's quite spectacular. Any noble in Valroyo would be envious of something with such historical significance. I planned a party to show off the house and its elven altar. We had it decorated with white flowers and candles, even brought in some hearts to graze in the garden outside. The effect was stunning. Then, my stroke of genius. Remember when Lady Corrine's pastime was reading about elves and how sympathetic she was to what happened in the Dales? She couldn't stop talking about how we must make contact with the restless elven spirits. All her lady companions were so taken with the idea. Well, I did just that. Or I made the guests believe that's what happened. I had to hire a mage to help, of course. A very discreet fellow from Mont Samard. During the party, I talked about how the house was a haunt for sad elven spirits. They ate it all up. Romantic, they said. For the final touch, I had everyone join hands around the elven stone and pray, and the mage, no names, cast a spell that made us dance like puppets on strings and sing the little bluebird of summer. It was a triumph. Offers began pouring in. One of them was even from a representative of Grand Duchess Florian. Oh, I have so much to tell you, I can't wait to return. With great love, Ignatius. Nice little side story there. So, let's take a look again here. Hold on. Wait. We're back in the vestibule. Oh, and now this place is open. Okay, guest wing. Yeah, discovered Hall of Heroes. Anything else open here? Grand ballroom. Cassandra. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Oh, investigate. Um, you know, before we even do that, uh, let's investigate. Yeah. Have you seen anything yet? Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. Uh, what do you think of all this? You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. Oh, oh, you think so? You support the Civil War? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Oh, I think she's wrong on that, though. Uh, care to dance? I don't suppose you'd like to dance, Lady Cassandra. Now? This is hardly the time. We're here to find a killer, not dance. Oh, whatever. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Alrighty. Uh, investigate Briala's agents. Have we talked to this noble? We must have. And I don't think we can go up these stairs anymore. I'm going to double check it. I'll just cut it out. How has the lyrium trade dropped off so sharp? With so much fighting, demand should be higher than ever. My contact said there's a new supplier, but we can't track down who it might be. Oh, do we got an is this another eavesdrop? Wait. Just gossip. Wait, they're gonna keep letting me redo them in case so I can't even remember if I've done it or not. Okay. Um we need to get we're in the Hall of Heroes. We need to go all over the place. Hall of Heroes, though. What's up, heroes? A uh, question listen closely, question Elvin servants. They keep jumping me around, you crazy bastards. A red plaque, Mafrath the Betrayer, card by Le Eternal of Empress, poor Empress Yvette. Let's see if we can get a perspective on it there. 
We've seen that one before. The trophy room. Oh, well, that's just telling us. The Valmont Emperors. Emperor Reville. Or Revile. No, I don't know. Uh, Whispering Elf. Oh. Come on now. Uh, the Art of the Winter Palace. Lambert Valmont, the Swaggering Lion card by Natalie Brault for the Emperor Judicale, the first to commemorate the Battle of Aisley. We've seen that one before too. I think we have. Servants' Quarters and Grand Apartments. Okay. Listen closely. How do I... Okay, I'm going to come over and talk to him then. Leave us. Wait, I have to talk to them before they'll let me... Do the eavesdrop? Interesting. Okay, now I got it though. Good. The package the is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep Playing around the a little last bit. two people we sent to the servants' quarters have failed to report. There's been a lot of activity from the Duke's people over there. I'll send another agent. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have a reliable report on even yet. Give our agents more time. Interesting. Oh, which one? Oh, no, that's... Okay. Just gossip. All right, all right. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heralds now. He should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. Yeah, because he's not politic. Who's going to want to support the guy? He's strong, but he threatens to burn everybody in their homes. It's crazy. Hey, what's up, guys? You don't want to be here, stranger. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Search the guest wing for a hidden cylinder seal. What hit cylinder seal? They didn't say anything about a c cylinder seal. Interesting. What's interesting? Uh, Imperial Guard, sure. What about over here? Can we open this? Oh. There must be something here. There we go. Well, well. What's this? What is it? Uh, Helen Sherall investigation clues. Clara, kitchen staff. Entered servant's wing by main stairs 130. Vernon, undergardener, entered servant's wing from hall. Sophie, chambermaid, entered servant's wing from hall. Marius, footman, entered servant's wing... From main stair. Briala, we need immediate support down there. Something's gone wrong. So everybody's kind of disappearing. Not talking to you until we get home. Fine by me. I'm not talking to you until we get home. That's funny. All right, what's up, guys? This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance to the bull room. Sounds good. We'll work our way around through here. Wait. Council of Hel Heralds? Vassal? Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspard's vitriol. Uh, Philippe is a jerk. How did you cross Gaspard? Awfully selfish of this, Philippe. Running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. Tonight of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspard's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Hey, such is life. All right. Um, we did figure out some secrets. Okay. Oh, there we go. My mm. lord. My lord, Inquisitor. May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How do I know that's true? I'm glad to hear from her. How do I know that's true? Hold on. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three 
wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. I'm happy to hear from her. I just spoke with her. Um, give me the message. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. How kind of her. She wants my help with that. Um, let me guess. All she wants in return is for me to help her defeat the Duke. Oh, this is not meant as a bargain by any means, Inquisitor. The support of the Empress is not conditional. It will be yours once the negotiations are concluded. The Empress is the most skilled diplomat in Thedas. Gaspar is hopelessly out of his depth. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. I'm not sure which way we're going to play this out. Or how it's going to play out without us, but, um... Let's listen closely. Alright. Oh, Empress of Fire? Sure. What's up, Dorian? Let's talk to you for a minute. This is all so familiar. I half expect my mother to materialize from the crowd and criticize my manners. That's why we brought you, actually. Is this like a uh, Tevinter party? Is this how the elite of Tevinter carry on? You could almost mistake this for a soiree in the Imperium. The same double dealing, elegant poison canapes. It's lacking only a few sacrificial slaves and some blood magic. Oh, that's somewhere. But the night no. is still young. Right, right, that's funny. Uh, your mother could be here? What if your mother were actually here? Where would we be then? Short one mage after he's dragged out by his earlobe. I'm having difficulty picturing that. Picture me a young boy of five years then. She certainly always has. Uh, always treating him that Have way still. Have you seen anything I should know about? Did you see what that Marquis is wearing? That suit is a greater crime than anything we're looking for. Uh, well, that's funny. I appreciate that you are willing to come here. And expose myself to all this exquisite finery and exotic wines? Such hardship. Not everyone's likely to be friendly. That's all I mean. Yeah, that's okay. It's true. You'd think I smelled of cabbages the way they wrinkle their noses. It's of no concern, but thank you. Yeah, I mean, he's upper crust, as it were, so Dorian's got it. I, I wasn't worried. I haven't been worried about him bringing him. I, I'd kind of rather have his perspective here, I think, than... uh, What's her name's? Vivian's. Although she could probably have a very special dialogue or help here. Um, Sounds like that was something... Oh, I knew there was something here. Well, that's useful. Um, is it? Is it useful? Oh, wait, is that, that was the same spot? What is Lady Pentecost Where? It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyo. Ooh. Oh. We can climb, too. Uh, the Art of the Winter Palace, the Lady of Regrets. For the wisest lady in all the land, the criers called, Come one and all to hear. Words like jewels, bright with meaning and grand purpose. When all had come and gathered near, the lady spoke. Beyond us is a field empty of rightness and wrong. There you may find me, my soul unarmored, and my shield. <laughs> Shouted my tears for those who yet say, no, re no regrets. Let sorrow water what's dear. Wisdom cannot grow in the barren sand. That's a nice, is that Ophelia? Drowning, it's beautiful. Oh, Caprice Toyn, coins oh, tossed. The is here. Maker, I hope not. Are we going to be here for like what 10 episodes? This is crazy. That's cool though. Actually, I'm digging it. After Did running around like Western, is this the Western approach of uh, Palace? More Hala statue. We'll, we'll holla. Oh. Little Prophet's Laurel, which we need to go do some more plant growing too, I think. Hmm. It keeps adding missions and missions and missions. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. Hmm. Oh, and a little loot. 
Find a hollow statue? No dragon scales, though. Who else do we have here? We had Dorian. You, sir. Did you need something? I don't know. Did I? Or did we just eavesdrop? Hello, Dorian. So it takes three stones to get that other door here. We need to find a royal key. We need to climb this. We need to find like 20 more secret stashes. We need to find 15 coins. We need to... Am I remembering all this correctly? Is this real? Court approval. Exploring the off-limits places can yield rewards, but take care not to be gone too long. When you are absent from the party, people notice, and your court approval will drop. Are you kidding me? What do we got? Take our book. Oh, we just opened a door. Pick up a letter. Good. Helm Sheral investigates. Clues. My court approval is going down. Uh, how do we, I don't even know how this is going to work. Who knows? Uh, Lady M, if it goes down while I'm reading this, I'm going to freak out. Lady, Lady M, I need you at my side tonight. The unpleasantness in the royal wing has convinced me there is no safe safety within the palace. I do not expect my cousin to employ magic, but I would hardly be surprised if he provoked another infestation. Since my court enchanter is not here to assist, I must rely entirely upon you. There is no one else I can trust. Celine. Well, we have to just loot what we can as we can here, right? Oh, Balefire. We gotta get out of here. Oh, Light a Rune. What? There's blue. Is anybody else here pissed off at this yet? Am I at the party here? No, I'm at the... Uh, examine inscription. Old plaque, the arrow of time flies in only one direction. Its path lights our way forward. I feel like with this, this is a... You gotta go blue. Is it gonna be blue again? No. Blue. Red. Can we get blue, blue? Blue, blue. Blue. Red. I don't even care. I I guess we're ruining the game here. Oh, you know what I should do is I should figure this out. And then I should just reload the game real quick. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I love how we lost it just for being a mage also. So we're already down and everything's going to go horrible. Oh, stairway down. Don't even know. Infusion grenade. If it's not related to this place, it's going to be silly. Range defense... Masterwork Magister Staff Blade. That might actually be the best item we got here, right? Okay, but... None of those things mattered here. Halim Sheral Investigation Clues. Grandchildren of Emperor Judicale Valmont and Duchess Catherine of Hosburg by Emperor Judicale II and Baroness Emil Campana. Um. Okay. Court approval down to 39. Can we get it down to zero? Because we're playing the game. The real trick is I think you just got to play this over and over until you know everywhere you're supposed to go or not go so you don't explore. What are we doing? Take scandalous uh, secrets. Oh, we found one. But is that going to give us leverage that we need on everything? There we go. 
Another scandalous secret. Now we're back at the party. Right. Um, let's see. We need the royal key. We haven't found that yet. If we go back through there... Let's see. We'll come while we're in the actual party here. I don't understand the mechanic, I guess, so we'll see. All of heroes can't open it anyway. This is this place. We were outside there for a moment. We can't actually enter here without the servant's quarters key. Okay. We came through here. Gaspar is wasting his time. Guest garden. Let's um check our map here. What's it trying to say? Investigate Briala's agents. Okay, let's see here. Let's that's that one right. Hollow statues. Where has that servant gone? Elves. Hmm. Is there another way through it? And there's also that dowager. We I don't know if we want to mention to her if that'll get us in with him. Yeah, that door is open now. This doesn't make any sense. Now, what is this a secret door? Open the locked door. It requires more hollow statues. Hmm. Oh. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet upper state. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandon the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heal, if you ask me. Okay, and we're still losing points, so we're just like, we're just going down. It's very, and but now I have to come all the way over here because there was a, um, there. Oh, there's our Hala statue, yay. And, uh, scandalous lead. Can we get through that other door? It takes three Hala statues, I thought. That's what it was just saying. Wait, what about this one? Yeah, that'll work. But the other one takes... Uh, three, I think. That's weird. Uh, Helm Sheral, investigation clues. Celine, we can discuss this like adults, can't we? We both know the weapon of Briala's disposal could not only turn the tide of our war, but every war. The Empire must control it. I do not believe you disagree. She is now a greater threat to Orlais than anything else. If you and I work together, we can wrest control away from her. Do not deceive yourself that she will be open to negotiation or diplomacy. You know her better than anyone. You know that's not possible. Gaspard. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so the elves are... Oh, look at all these dead people. This is... Oh, everybody's missing here. That's the bell. I should get back to the ballroom. Okay, let's go. Where has that servant gone? Right. Elves. Servants dead everywhere. What's this other thing on our map, though? Um. Do do do. Return to the ballroom. Oh, okay. Oh, he's wasting his time. When we can. I haven't made it in here either. A compendium of Orlesian theater. A tent. King Dracon turns his crown in his hand, entering. Enter his trusted cousin, Captain Ashan. Captain Ashan, hail your majesty. The armies wait on you. King Dracon, what of the enemy? Captain Ashan, the Blighted Ones mass on the hill in larger numbers than ever we've seen. King Drakhan, we are outmatched on the field. Captain Ashan, Andraste armed us with faith. King Drakhan, our allies are weak, are a weak from Cumberland. Captain Ashan, we are aided by the Maker's word. I do not doubt. Yet your brow is vexed. Drakhan throws down his crown. King Drakhan, pride killed our prophet. Her sacred words are all we have left. If victory spurns us, who will carry them forward? Who will bear the chant of light? Cousin, the army awaits. Maker, for a soul fit to lead them. From the Sword of Dracon, an examination of the life and history of the father of Orlais by Marquis Freyet. 
It is, it's little wonder King Dracon's life is one of the most popular tales in Orlais. After founding both Orlais and the Chantry, the charismatic young noble battled the second blight for the rest of his reign. Freyat's plays are notable for being the first to portray Orlais' founder as a man beset by doubts, as are we all, instead of an idealized cipher. A few grand clerics attempted to ban the play, saying it criticized the current state of the Chantry, but the Sword of the Dracon of Dracon proved too popular among these masses and the nobility and re and the nobility and remains a staple of Orlesian theater to this day. From a compendium of Orlesian Theater, Volume 2, Classics of the Storm Age by Mas Magister Pelinar. Okay. Is there anything else? Yeah. The hell was that? Uh, Caprice Coin. Well, that's useful. I don't know that it is. Uh, Duke Germain, what's up? Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. Uh, Gaspard is your nephew. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspard. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Uh... Tell me about the war. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Have you seen anything like what? Have you noticed anything strange this evening? Other than you? My niece Florian hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. Ah. Another time. Well, that actually matters. This mission's kind of making me anxious with the timed stuff. Well, well. What have we here? Who is this? The leader of the new Inquisition. Fabled herald of the faith. Oh my god. Delivered from the grasp of the fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. Is this who I think it is? What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? Uh, I'm here on urgent business. It's a mystery. Tell me what you want. Um, say it's a mystery. You may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, Hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. Uh, that's a good question. You've been watching me. I hope so. That's a good question. That's a good question. Well, I don't know. Do we? <laughs> are we or do we? You are being right. coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently, I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls, an agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor, a key found the on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Hmm. Uh, why did you kill him? Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. Um, is the Empress safe? You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough, for the moment. T'would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. Why, why do you protect her? What's your go. interest in protecting Empress Selene? Where's your baby? Are you her bodyguard? 
<laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Celine, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Uh, I know what door it opens. I might look into this. Come with me. I know what door it opens. I'm not trying to Riala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. Mm. What comes next will be most exciting. I believe it will. Uh, Codex unlocked Morrigan. Let's check it. Morrigan, a Monsieur. I too am concerned about this new advisor to the Imperial Court. If Selene is truly curious about magic, why not turn to Madame de Fer with her questions? Why seek out this dark-haired apostate from Ferelden? Why bring the woman here after a great deal of surveillance? I can reassure you somewhat. I do not believe this Morrigan has our Empress and Sorcelled. There is no way to be certain, of course, but the witch and Selene argue often. If Morgan tells Selene something unpleasant, she will avoid the witch for months before curiosity draws her back. Morgan has an interest in ancient things, magic from a time before the Chantry even existed, and it is this pursuit that intrigues Selene. Morgan can answer questions that Madame de Fer either could not or would not. Whether any pertain to blood magic or other forbidden things, that I can only suspect. Three of my spies disappeared after attempting to breach the spells protecting the woman's laboratory in the depths of the palace. Ooh. I would raise a fuss, but then my efforts would be revealed, even though I doubt I am alone. The entire court is consumed with curiosity, and the more Selene keeps her in the sidelines, the more we all wish to know. Our empress plays with fire, considering she has yet to find herself a husband to solidify the future of her dynasty. These dealings with the apostate are one more nail in her coffin. Yours in trust, Madame de Carne. It's so crazy seeing Morrigan here. So what history did we just pick up? Oh, here we go. Orlesian Caprice coins. One's machinations, but what one is willing to give up. The clearest example is the Caprice. Each coin is traditionally a gift. They were once tokens of regard, favors for chevaliers from their lovers or patrons. Throwing them into a fountain was rooted in superstition. The token was offered as a sacrifice, a bribe to Andraste to keep the Chevalier safe on the battlefield. The more one had to offer to the waters, the better one's chances of escaping the caprices, or caprice, I can't speak for a minute, of fate, hence the name. Over time, the superstitious aspects of the custom faded. Now the caprice is a mark of status. One, The more coins one has, the more public the spectacle of throwing them away, the stronger one's position in the game. Do we want to throw them all the way at one, uh, once? From the Dowager's Field Guide to Good Society by Lady Alcyon. So we still have to go up to this. Um, there's the Grand Ballroom. I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Do we want the Grand Ballroom? We don't need to do that yet. So let's go throw that coin in. Um, let's go figure out where that other key goes, and then we have this key going to the servants' place through here. And let's do it all in the next episode.